peacocks. Just in from the stars, and already my soul birds, taking black literally, shriek past southern cinders of attention. Break the seal of breathing light, she paints by flicking her eyelashes, escaped peacocks watching our free movies in the street. Again, architecture. Your churches immensely vague, some music exhaled in a flash of bird's wing, only to be heard after the fact as abandoned silence. Hello, she lamented, and the sun went raw into eyes of absent color, sweet core smudged without Vaseline, flattened this more than first of days, the word expunged in the flesh. until your eyeballs rust, but never break a sky. Trust in violent conversation, your lucky couch professor. Pale conversation where telephones keep ringing to get me some. And one will be sent to you as well. Nocturnal parallels with evasive shadows to which expectations may be buttoned. The object of any and every couple become mere music. You're the singer to a corpse. Um, this is uh, a sequence of 15 short poems, and uh, it has a title which is also an epigraph. And the, the, this title epigraph comes from Marguerite Young, and it's Ways to Make a Man Look Like an Unemployed Hearse Driver Who Had Had a Little Trouble with the Higher Powers. <laughs> In a poem of all mistaken beginnings, or the hair music of your recurrent brushing, an endless pleasure seeps through cupped hands. Slightly unsightly, some feet might drip with bare song, the tuning of an unseen instrument, and then I brushed you with one person's misdirected kisses. But avant couriers in tatters slack with sun and air, sorry, yet enduring silent, and with closed eyes, an endless middle of muddled colors, it was whispered, ripples slanted tree shadows on this page left intentionally blank. One man, one vote, and both possibly spoiled or wasted on streaming eye contact. All right, but broken in so many places, the misdirected kisses, I mean, the money shot, could only have been blanched in their glare. Push. It's a hard leaper to push. Once everything new flashes old once more, second loves love best. Semi-starved, but otherwise ordinary, though painfully far from post-ironic. I'm happy you can read it too. I mean, this page left intentionally blank beneath the reluctant seepage of my eye. Where are you? Outside the birth library of all-purpose similes, such as fog-latched hard to a mountainside, the way you talked it up before lapping snowfall, or perfect circumvention, autumns of fruit bruised perfectly as you still dream to taste it, dripping. Where are you? Far outside where blush-colored stars weigh in torn like we used to be, your battery run low or voice growing sweetly lazy. Please, soon. This page left intentionally blank and promoted to some <laughs> ropey transcendence would also be worth burning, sure. Sonata for sewing machine. The signal processing makes it, obviously. Like telling secrets all night as a way of making love tacitly. Or rather, tacit. Haven't you ever pressed the right key into the wrong door in the right hotel the wrong night? Sorry, that was someone else's holiday. <laughs> but something else you might want to know, how words trail off to the point where you write them idly on a page left intentionally blank and even get them spelled right sometimes, as if the lyrics to a naked song ever seep down, that same casual storage to where you levitate. Yes, we shared a lot of reminiscences, like hands rubbing two sides of a pear, ripe and bruised then aired grievances we never knew we had. Open-mouthed, 
too, as if you'd never hushed the school of hidden kisses. In precious time, withheld such sweet, slovenly days as make burnt ends meet before an ugly cloud disperses peacefully, soaks deep into a page left intentionally blank. Yes, it was the wrong hotel, but it was the right key. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let me hear an amen. It's on a timer, the kind of light you can only switch on. Was it just preaching for the choir when she kept breathing in, out, in, out, in, out, in? Or as a child's tooth may dangle by a thread, will your idea of pleasure hang poignant before falling with the tiniest breath from your mouth? We've seen those French farces before, his lover hidden under the bed, hers waiting patiently inside the wardrobe. But that page left intentionally blank within the luminous wreckage of our blasted contract is what protects us from meaning that another shot of good memory can pack it up smartly and keep washing in, out, in, out, in, out, in. A second honeymoon's moons, the name our twin sirens, necessity and danger, gave the love they also called their dream work, their lovely toy. Like daylight, their kisses wax and wane, but seasonally. And they express their desire that you never stop reading this page left intentionally blank in the intentionally open folder of a black and troubled memory. The tremulous flanks of a small, envious beast keep heaving, and we best start thinking burnt offerings in the past or blue perfect tense. Shake my ribs a little, please, but from the inside. You like questions with no right answers? Try playing that song recalling what you thought when you heard it first, but you won't, ever. Spacious light cuts across the surface of a page left intentionally blank, where someone's life ends beautifully, or not at all. A conspiracy of good feelings might appease the prettiest pain ever seen. I closed the big brown eyes of shame that read the story of snow, but you know what? It was very, very something. Fertility and other stories told in once contracted eyes now dilate in the shadow of a shadow where closer music listens in. To strangely muddled colors, wet a page left intentionally blank with something half past endless. Pleasure to be continued. Cut. The trouble with being is not wanting to until we hear the children listen hard to stuttered music. A face breaks into private laughter. Ask my bones if they can please you. Behind brushed hair, catch a whiff of possible futures. Belly, yours, again. Mouth, open, sky, again. Wet fingers, wet corners of the page, left intentionally blank. Is this your body? Membrane soaked with almost delicious blood or an eye unstuck. Begin generic shadow weather, Mrs. Blue Skies. Translation ease for music pushed through blown speakers. Slow burning when I do you this ode to distraction, invisible and certified real as the day. We haven't been here since the last time we were here. Wasted and a bit out of breath, we know it's coming, a page left intentionally blank. Didn't I know you once before this language broke inside me, mouth stuck with lies I never got to tell? You turn a face daylight lined with sleep, growling. Morning falls behind my eyes. Door to the sky, open, leaving something bright inside. A face that stripped the soul off me and loved what's left. These morning worlds take longer to read than write. Study for skin. This page left intentionally blank or caught in an echo where rain heard loveless lullabies bubble under eaves where random noises nest. You want to replace existing ways? You're the one I, well, you'll find out. A weather obsessive, iced up in dormant analogies. I want my animal rights, but now. Bend down to see those stars go quietly idle in light I'm dripping all over you. 